hey guys, so I got a um, Xiaomi, I think I'm pronouncing that right, M365 scooter recently, about two weeks ago. I've already clocked in 125 miles, so I'm really using it, like I'm commuting to work daily with it, which I um, work at different schools throughout my town, and they're all along a bike path, which is pretty perfect. And I have been in love with this scooter since I got it, and about a week I kept it on stock firmware, but then I was like, this hill climb, and just I just created a little more speed. So I looked into mods and all that, and I saw you could poss potentially put a dual motor, but that's a lot of work, and maybe I'll just get a new scooter at some point. But for now, I installed a custom firmware, and it does seem to have a noticeable bit of more acceleration, and top speed is definitely a little bit faster. I'm consistently at like 18, 19 miles per hour now, versus I was always around 17, 16, sometimes 18 down the hill. But um, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to take it on the bike path in my town, and I'm going to do a test run same distance with the custom firmware, which I will link my um, settings. I use the Botox firmware generator, I will link up the settings I'm using in the description, but basically I just uh, got rid of the speed limit, I upped the speed a little bit, and I gave it a little more power, not too much because the recommended settings were 3200 or 30,000, something like that. I'm at like 40,000, whatever, DO, I did the DYOC preset, which if you guys know about the Botox custom firmware generator, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so that's my summary of what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to go take it for a spin now. I'm going to charge the battery up to 100%, and um, take it for a spin, and then come back, charge it up again, and do stock, and compare it. So you can see a real-life uh, comparison of the two firmwares versus stock and DYOC. Alright, that's all. Uh, I'm going to stop the video, and I'll see you. Alright, so here's my scooter. It's currently charging up. Um, it's about it close to 80%. I'm going to wait till it gets to 100, take it for the first uh, spin with the custom firmware, and then I'm going to do the stock after. Uh, I have a phone mount here that I uh, tilted down a little bit. I just tightened it, so um, it's go I'm going to put my phone in here and uh, use that to record the trip. And I'm going to also use a screen recorder and monitor the app so you guys can see both uh, the log of the miles per hour and battery life and also see the trip live from the uh, camera on my phone all right yep all right i'm about to start the run with the custom firmware um here we go I'm gonna stop the run right here. Um, I turned around just so the street doesn't think I'm trying to cross. But um, you can see my top speed was 18.8 miles per hour. Um, I dropped about 4% battery. And I'm gonna take it back and we'll see how the stock firmware does with the same run. All right, I'm gonna record this back to my car.
Alright. Uh, I might have screwed up the app there, but um, I will post the graph as well. Uh, this one's in my pocket, um, but that was the end of the run on the way back. I parked my car right over there. You can't really see it over there. And I'm going to do the stock firmware later. So end of the trip at the car, it is at 92% and I traveled 0.83 miles. Alright, so here we go with the stock firmware run. Here I am at the end of the run, first, right before I turn around. Um, it's a little bit slower, you can see already. All right, I'm gonna go back now. So here I am at the end of the uh, trip, and we're going to analyze more of this later. Alright, so the end of my trip, um, we'll compare when I get home. So um, I made a Google spreadsheet of the data from the video. So this is the custom firmware and this is the stock firmware. And I, every 20 seconds for each, I recorded the milliampers, so the battery capacity. It was at about 99% here. And 
um, you can see the difference every 20 seconds and after 2 minutes and 49 seconds I traveled 0.8 miles with the custom firmware and I lost 458 milliampers which was about 7% battery so it was at 99% here and it was at 92% here uh, in that 0.8 miles um, I, I averaged a speed of 18.11 miles per hour so let's compare it with the stock firmware so I did the same thing every 20 seconds I recorded the difference of the battery capacity and I lost 384 milliampers which was a little bit less so it's definitely um, more battery drain with the custom firmware but not a significant amount this was about 4% loss so it was 99% here and 95% here um, I traveled about the same amount 0.79 miles with an average speed of 15.94 and I did that in 3 minutes and 7 seconds so um, you can see that it was about 18 seconds quicker so if you're traveling anything longer like 15 16 minutes it won't be significant but you'll get there a little bit quicker and probably have a little bit more fun uh, and then one thing i want to note is in the video if you try to line up this time with what the app says i started the app early and it says one minute and 13 seconds when really it should say zero that's when i started the, the run with the stock firmware i was just running in circles a little bit to try to get the battery capacity down because I was at 99% with the custom firmware, so I wanted to get as close, like just pretty close, just to avoid any variables being different. So I forgot to reset the app, however, so it says a different time, it also says 0.11 miles. So if you wanna match this up with the video, just so you gotta subtract that, but really you can just look at the spreadsheet here to get the data you need. So this is my first video. Um, I'm thinking my next video, I'm going to do a test up a hill, which I do every day when I go to work, so I'm gonna see what is the time going up 100% battery charge with stock firmware, 100% battery charge with custom firmware. And so we can just see how fast and how much uh, more power it gets uphill. Uh, that's one benefit, I think, of custom firmware, but we'll see.